Hey everybody, this is the Theorizer here on an evening video. This is something I've been wanting to do for quite a while right now. As we do all know, MonsterVerse is continuing up. And what, what really bugged me, if not most of us, was why we didn't see certain titans from Godzilla King of the Monsters. That's why I drew up the, the titans and, and their possible physical appearances. Some, we've already got appearances to the comics. And I've drawn up the ones that we haven't seen just yet. But remember, these may not be truly what they look like. And it'll, but they, these are just possible looks. Looks, and try to give it a message to, uh, to, uh, Goji Center about this too. Anyway, let's start. First up, we have Mokele Mbebe. Now remember everybody, this we did sort of see in King of the Monsters, and in the novel. This is what he looks like. <sighs> like, well, at least what I think he looks like. Next up is Leviathan. Leviathan. Now, I, I went through images and put each the best features of them together. <sighs> There made him look like a lot like the Loch Ness monster, because of course his site is in in Scotland, Loch Ness. Yes. Up next is uh, Abaddon. He was said to be insectoid in appearance, and I've been looking through images, and he looks sort of like scorpion and mantis, and so I sort of combined those two together. Now the next one, Baphomet, was kind of complex. Some described him as looking like a giant wendigo. Some looked like having a shaggy bear gorilla. And some described him having wings. So I gave him wendigo head, a uh, stretchy wings on under the sk skin wings, and like a gorilla bear-like appearance. And, uh, but again, this is my thoughts, not, the, not what it'll look like in the future. Up next is Typhon. There were many, like, appearances for this one. Like, uh, one where he, uh, like, looked like a giant starfish with wings. But that's not what I wanted. So, I did what the myth sort of looked like. Head of goat, like, tendrils on his body that would look like snakes. Giant wings. Long snake tails. Multiple. <laughs> multiple. I did it. I did some redesignings for the mythology from a Greek mythology, because, you know, Typhon. Get it? Up next is Bunyip. And it was said that he would look like a giant otter. Otter or a giant tiger. So I just decided, but I decided that he would look a bit like both, along with being really fat. But still movable, aquatic, and he'd be in Australia, as we all do know. No. And uh, for this one, Quetzalcoatl, I try. I wanted to do one that was exactly similar to the Quetzalcoatl from the 1998 Godzilla the series, but but instead I did a combo of that with what everybody thinks Quetzalcoatl looks like in mythology. Like it? Yeah. Now for Yamada no Orchi, they uh, discussed him of looking like both a wor a giant worm with eight tongues coming out of his mouth. Me, I did what the classic Yamada no Orchi would look like. Like, but with a more worm-like look than snake-like. Like, like it. And now as for, this was difficult. Sekhmet. Sekhmet was like, uh... I, I, I couldn't just draw up a giant lion. So I did, uh... I added some stuff of what mythological lions would look like in myths. <laughs> yes. Anyway, that's all. We've already seen Tiamat, Amhulok, Nakika, aka Kraken, but the ones like Sargon, Polythemus, others, they don't exist. <laughs> Which is sort of sad. Yeah, but anyway, that was my video on the possible physical appearances of the Monsterverse Titans. Titans, did you like the, the drawings? Let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe. Oh, and, uh, Get this message to Goji Center.